a lot of food. What is it? On the second day of Christmas, my true love gave to me two crispy wreaths and a cartridge in a bear tree. Oh, it's like Rice Krispie wreaths. Oh, that's so cool. Nice. Okay. I guess now I gotta make some. Hi guys, Rachel here, and today apparently I'm making crispy wreaths. So here are the ingredients. Two bunt pans, six cups of Rice Krispies, one 10 ounce package of marshmallows, a cup of butterscotch chips, a cup of chocolate chips, seven tablespoons of butter, an eighth a cup of milk, a half a teaspoon of vanilla, and two cups of powdered sugar. And optional are M&Ms, little decorative candies, and red and green food coloring. First things first, I'm going to grease the pans with butter. And according to my mom, the best way to do this is to spread the butter around with your hands. It's messy, but apparently it's what works the best. Okay, once your pans are greased and your hands are a lot more moisturized, you're gonna set the bunk pans to the side and move to the stove top. I'm gonna set the temperature on low, and then we're going to add the butter. So while the butter is melting, I'm gonna add a few drops of the food coloring. a lot. It's going to be a really dark wreath. So once the butter is melted, we're going to add the 10 ounce pack of marshmallows. Just stir it around until they melt. Boil, boil, toil and trouble. It totally looks like I'm making a potion. It's like green and everything. The eye of a toad. Way too big to be a toad's eye. <laughs> the eye of a newt. Hopefully not newt's commander. That would be terrible. Just keep stirring till they're all melted. Stirring, stirring, stirring. Keep that pot of stirring. This is turning out to be a pretty green color. It's not like a, it's not a booger or barf color. So, you know, it's like appetizing. That's always good. Okay, so once it's all mixed, you want to take it off the heat, and then add the Rice Krispies. And then stir. Snap, crackle, pop! You want to keep stirring until it's all incorporated. It's a fancy word for meaning it's all put together. <laughs> okay, this is kind of a process you want to do quick, because it starts to harden pretty fast. So then you're going to take your bunt pans, You want about half in each bun pan. So once you have about half the mixture in there, then you're going to go press it down. You can use wax paper, but if your hands are clean like mine are, then you can just use your hands. Then just press it down into the mold. I should have buttered my hands. That would have made this a lot easier. So you want to get it as flat as you can. So once you have them pressed down flat in the pan like this, we're going to set those aside to cool and move on to the layer on top. We're going to take the chocolate chips and pour it into a bowl with the butterscotch chips. And then I am just going to pop this in the microwave for 30 seconds, stir, and then repeat that process until it is melted and smooth and delicious. It looks beautiful and creamy and smooth like this. It's ready to go. So now I'm just gonna take the chocolate butterscotch mixture and pour half of the mixture on each pan. If you wanna add more butterscotch chips and chocolate chips, be my guest. This stuff is delicious, just so you know. Once you have the chocolate mixture all spread out evenly, I'm just going to put these in the fridge so that it can harden and I can pop them out. I'm excited for these guys. This is gonna be awesome. I can't wait to decorate them. Don't judge. Okay, so while that is chilling, I'm going to make the frosting. 
The first thing you're going to do is cream the butter. So once the butter is creamed, you want to add the sugar, milk, extract, and food coloring. There should only be two cups of sugar, but you may need a little bit more for it to harden up. And now we have our red frosting. I'm just going to use a Ziploc to put the frosting in and pour it out with. And so what I like to do is like turn it mostly inside out and then kind of have it with my like hand so I can like catch the frosting because I hate it when it gets up in the the ribs of the Ziploc. It like really bugs me. <laughs> Okay. Just scoop it up into the bowl. Hold the ziplock like this and plop it in. Carefully. There we go. Get the air out. Go ahead and cut the tip. I find that cutting it smaller is always better than cutting it too big because if it's too small, you can cut a little bit more, but if it's too big, there's like nothing you can do except for like get a new Ziploc, and that's such a hassle. And you're ready to frost. So I just went around the edges of the bunk pan with a plastic spoon at the end of it so it didn't scratch the pans. And now I'm just going to flip them out. They look so cute! Here they are! They look so cute! Oh my goodness! I love them! Now for my favorite part, decorating. I've sorted out all of the red M&Ms, so it will look like holly berries. And then I have these cute little candy bows. And... And my frosting. And now I have two crispy wreaths. I am really happy with the way these turned out. I think they look really cute. I mean, they are full of sugar, but they are gluten free. I have a printable recipe in the down bar if you want to make these, you can check that out. And if you end up making them and Instagramming them, tag me at Art Enchancing because I would love to see them. Make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And if things keep going the way they have for the past two days, I will probably see you tomorrow. Okay, now for the good part. I'm gonna try some. Mm. Two thumbs up. That was really good. I highly approve of this recipe. So just a note, if you are ever looking to buy these little wreaths, if you're using them just for decoration, then go for it. But if you want them to actually taste good, don't buy them. It's like a rock and it has like no flavor. So it kind of feels like somebody like buried a candy corn deep into the ground for like centuries and then it like dried out like a mummy and it became that. All of this is going to be delicious except for these two bows. Just be aware. Do you see my two turtle dove mug? Cheers to Christmas wreaths everywhere. Bye.